Good day, everyone, and welcome. Thank you for your time and this opportunity. I'm looking forward to showing you the many different benefits that Civil Designer has to offer. I'm going to start off with some visualization capabilities. Everything you're about to see is done inside Civil Designer with its common interface and full integration between roads, foul water, surface drainage, potable water, and even auxiliary services. You can travel beneath the ground and check for clashes between these different services. And they start off with that and then go beneath the ground. And as we approach these pipes, I'm going to slow things down somewhat. If you look at the position of my cursor, eventually you'll find that we've got a yellow balloon. That yellow balloon indicates that we've got clashes between our different services. Not only if they clash, but also if they're within a certain proximity or civil designer pointed out for us. You can view this drive through from any perspective. Looking in front of us again, you'll see there's quite a bit of color. This is what we refer to as the water film thickness functionality, where civil designer calculates the probability of aquaplaning. I'm going to lock my view, and instead of driving down the road, I'm going to use the fly along the road using a drone approach. While you are busy presenting to your potential clients, there are different preset environmental settings to choose from. Depending on what looks good in your presentations, you could go and select the most appropriate option available to you. You aren't limited to driving along just one road. You can press escape on your keyboard and select to drive along a different road. We also give you options of viewports. Depending on what you've done in your designs, you can go and save these viewports and then use it for verification or presentation type purposes. If you'd like to view, for instance, this interchange from a 360 degree perspective, you can go and right click and select circle around. Everything you're seeing here is done inside Civil Designer's CAD module. Looking at the drawing tab, this is where you do all your designs. And next to that, we've got the layout. These layouts will dynamically update as you make changes to your designs. You can go and customize how you'd like these layouts presented. And if I want to go and publish this, I can go to plot and select publish layout. Specify which layouts I want to publish, whether I want it as a coordinated drawing, I can also export the plan list as CSV files. That would be this table in this case. I can publish to PDF, and then we always give you the BIM naming standard files to choose from. And then specify where you'd like to go and save it, as well as if you'd like to save it in a DWG or DXF format. If from the onset you'd like to save your project as a DWG, you can do so. This is done by going to File, Save As, and then again, saving it as a DWG format of choice. We also give you numerous import and export facilities, making provision for our civil industry's interoperability requirements. You can export to KML as well as an IFC, Industry Foundation class file. Looking at the different options, you don't have to export the entire project you can do individual modules. Again, you don't have to do all the roads. You could deselect all of them and just select the roads of choice. Further down the list, because of Civil Designer's integration, you can also export the file water, surface drainage, potable water, and we've made provision for auxiliary services. That would be your electricity, fiber, and gas lines, as an example. Further down the list, you can export your road layer works. You don't have to do the entire road. You could segment them in different lengths. We've got a signage module, so you can export the road signs, markings, and road furniture. As mentioned before, we've got the BIM naming standard files to go and choose from. We present you with different schemas or formats. As the industry increases the options, so do we develop those options inside Civil Designer. Different catalogs, and then by default, all the IFC properties are switched on. It's easy for you to disable them. 
and then right click and insert your own customized IFC properties. That in a nutshell is what I'm about to show you. Looking at civil designers, different applications, allowing its integration and common interface, increase your team's productivity.